And later in the transmission, I do want to give you my breakdown of, uh, of what I think is going to unfold in 2012 and what we're going to see uh, the establishment do in this key year. On so many fronts with Iran, with the global economy, uh, with the domestic police state that's being duplicated, not just here in the United States, but all over the world, that is all coming up today. And, and then I have this little uh, Economist article, and the cover of it uh, says, Reviving the World Economy, Stand Back, I'm a Central Banker. And it takes a, a famous, I guess, Dutch painting of uh, doctors uh, engaging in a dissection of a dead body, uh, but instead the Central Banker is holding defibrillators like he's going to restart the heart of the economy. This would be more accurate if it showed the central bankers as vampires and uh, all sinking their teeth into the uh, not-quite-yet-dead person, soon-to-be uh, cadaver, then it would be uh, accurate. But, but this is the problem. They always sell the central bankers as the solution to every problem when they are on its face the complete authors of the architecture of the system we live under today. You can certainly partially blame the public for being lazy and easy to con for this happening. We can all blame ourselves and look in the mirror at one level or another. And uh, for all of us, uh, you're selling out at even at a subconscious level to the system. But the main drivers, the captains of the ship... Uh, the uh, New World Order system, those piloting our culture are the six mega private banks that created the front consortiums of the so-called Federal Reserve, European Central Bank, Bank of England, which are just their, 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 their quasi-government fronts to carry out their crimes. They are the enemy. They are the authors of the carbon tax, of the open borders, of the imperial wars, of the police state, of the medical mafia pushing forced inoculations. In every case, it is a handful of families that are the private shareholders of the six global megabanks. We've listed them here many times. Goldman Sachs, J.P. Morgan, Bank of America, Wells Fargo, Citibank and then a few other European consortium banks that are all really owned by the same people. So it's six consortiums, and they are the authors of it all. I mean, I showed you The Economist magazine from November, and this is the type of publication, just like The Times of London or The Financial Times, which is even more important, where they throw it in your face. Remember that article a few years ago by the foreign editor of the Financial Times of London, headline, and now for world government? Please put that on screen. If you're a radio listener on XM or local AM and FM, you're saying put it on screen. Yes, we're simulcasting everything at prisonplanet.tv, and we also have the nightly news there if you're a subscriber, but we've now started a system where you can watch a lower res uh, version of the show live, uh, not just the audio at infowars.com there in the right-hand corner. Now, everybody... Uh, can basically watch if you go to infowars.com and click the upper uh, you know, watch the show live banner. You can actually see this for yourself. Uh, there it is. And now for world government, December 9th, 2008. Well, that seems like yesterday. That's actually uh, three years ago. Wow, a little over three years ago. And he goes on to say, yes, there's a private global corporate government. Yes, it's authoritarian in nature. Go read the article. Uh, and yes, we're going to take your liberties, but it's because your nation states are primitive. That's why they have an image of a cave drawing there. And we know best, we're technocrats, and we kept it secret from you for your own interest. And that is exactly what The Economist, November 19th, the 25th weekly edition that I've covered so much here, uh, said. They say, yes, technocrats have run things in the Soviet era. And didn't do probably the best job, but our technocrats are better. And they say in here, you, you can argue that this is the best system now. And regardless, that's what runs things. So it is an apologetic, open world government article, but saying it's for your own interest. 
and that particular article is, 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 is titled, Minds Like Machines, Technocrats. Minds Like Machines, Technocracy Was Once a Communist Idea with the Proletariat in Power, Administration Could Be Left to Experts. Ah, yes. Or, or we can have a big computer uh, run everything. There's the actual article. I have my little photocopies here so I can highlight it. And it goes on, technocracy and autocracy have long been natural bedfellows. Technocrats rule big chunks of public life. Central bankers are one example. And it goes on here, even highly political governments set up independent or bipartisan panels that make difficult decisions. Yeah, so spending bills originate in the super congress now, not by individual members, such as closing military bases, setting electoral boundaries, and making spending cuts. No, it's supposed to be simple votes. They create independent agencies, all independent, but the globalists run them, to run everything from health care to education. They put outside experts in top jobs, such as the economist Larry Summers and the Clinton administration and Obama administrations that got rid of Glass-Steagall. Yeah, what, uh, what, uh, great, uh, what great experts they were. And then you go on here, let me find the actual part. They got another quote where it says, and yes, you can argue that we need technocrats now. They know, they know how to run things best. Now, I just showed you the, uh, in fact, reprint me that because there were two versions. He had another one that was a blog responding to everybody. I don't know if that's the blog or the original article. Scroll up for me, please, so I can read it. And uh, when you read it there, uh, he actually breaks down that, it's for the betterment of everybody. He says, I've never believed that there is a secret. You put it back on screen for me, please. I've never believed that there is a secret United Nations plot to take over the U.S. I've never seen black helicopters hovering in the sky above Montana. But for the first time in my life, I think the formation of some sort of world government is plausible. A world government. So, so again, if you don't like world government, you're a kook, but, but we need one. And I think this is his blog response when he got attacked for saying we need a world government. A world government would involve much more than cooperation between nations. It would be an entity with state-like characteristics backed by a body of laws. The European Union has already set up a continental government for 27 countries, which could be the model. The EU has the Supreme Court, a currency, thousands of pages of law, a civil service, and an ability to deploy military force. So could the European model go global? There are three reasons for thinking that it might. First, it's increasingly clear that the most difficult issues facing national governments are international in nature. There is a global warming, a global financial crisis, and a global war on terror. And what did Club of Rome say in the 60s? We'll use the terror threat, the environmental threat, and other threats, global problems to unify it. In fact, I just went to that article from memory. Print it for me. I'm going to highlight the parts. And there's a second. I think that's the second part. There's a first part where he comes out and says, yes, it's authoritarian in nature. Yes, we kept it from you, but it's for your own good. The point is that here they are saying Larry Summers will fix everything when it's Larry Summers who got rid of the Glass-Steagall with Obama's uh, progenitor, the Clintons. And then now Larry Summers is back advising under Obama. And do people expect there to be any change when this is the policy? We go to the people that engineered all of this and we read publications that they own and control who never even mention, hey, they're the ones that did all this when it's as obvious as the nose on your face. And so I'm going to be breaking that down later. Uh, in the broadcast. In fact, I've already started doing it here right now. Now, when we come back from break, uh, I'm going to break down, obviously, the top news of the day and, 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 and try to go through every uh, angle and facet of it. That's why I've uh, written here on construction paper. I got up in the middle of the night, was creeping around the house, and the first paper I came across was some of the children's construction paper. So I wrote, uh, I don't know, three, four pages of notes here, uh, breaking down why uh, the different formulae that are used, why would Obama 
say he'd veto the bill because it had indefinite detention for citizens in it and then sign the bill. And then it emerges that it was the White House demanded those provisions be there. And Obama knew that. And I break down why they deceive that way, why they do that, and what the NDAA does and where things are going. But where are all the people out there who for uh, over 16 years said Alex Jones is a kook, there's no plan to put military on the streets? Now that it's in Stars and Stripes, the Army Times, the National News, now they've shifted from you're still a kook because you don't want the military on the streets. And then and now I hear them defending the military doing drills to confiscate our guns. So we're going to break all of that down today. Then we're going to get into what's happening in the Eurozone, record gun sales, and more. It's a very important transmission lined up. Stay with us. If you believe in this information and want to support its viral spread, go to the InfoWars store at InfoWars.com. We've got the new G.I. Joe InfoWars t-shirts. We've got the incredible ProPure gravity-fed filters available at InfoWars.com in the store. We've got a new DVD, Sign Us Under Attack, the Don't Tread on Me flag. We've got all sorts of different bumper stickers to help spread the rebellion virally. It's all there, wristbands, citizen rule books in every order. Order online at InfoWars.com today. The water filters, the canteens, it's all there, InfoWars.com. 